Okay, welcome to the NUPOC video study guide number 26. Uh, we're going to look at the last question in the general math section of guide 1, um, which is question 22. What surface encloses the maximum volume for a minimum surface area? So I'm sure a lot of you uh, already have the intuition that this is going to be a sphere, but let's look at some ways that we can show that. So let's start by writing down some equations for a sphere. Right? So this is going to be our, our sphere here, and it has some radius r. And over here, we're going to have some cube, right, like this. And it is going to have um, this side length a, OK? And so we know over here uh, that our volume of the sphere Vs is going to equal 4 thirds pi r cubed and our surface area of the sphere is going to equal 4 pi r squared. Over here for the cube, um, our volume of the cube is going to just equal a cubed and our surface area of the cube is going to equal 6 a squared. Okay. So let's start by um, looking at um, a sphere and a cube that both have the same volume. And let's see which one uh, has more or less surface area. Okay, so let's equate, let's equate their volumes here, right? So we're going to say, let's say here, this is going to be same volume. Okay, so Vs equals Vc, so 4 thirds pi r cubed equals a cubed. Let's write r in terms of a, okay? So we'll have r equals the third root of 3 over 4 pi times a, okay? Now let's take this, this r here, right? And let's substitute it into our surface area equation for a sphere. So we would get that the surface of a sphere, surface area of a sphere is going to be 4 pi, right, times r squared, so all of this squared, which is going to be 3 over 4 pi to the 2 thirds a squared, which if we do that out, we are going to find that that is equal um, to about 4, I believe 4.83 a squared, okay? And if we look at surface area of a cube, again, you will see that 6a squared, right? So obviously the sphere, given that the sphere and the cube have the same volume, the sphere has less surface area. So we'll say for the same volume, surface of the sphere less than the surface area of the cube. Now let's consider the case when we have same surface area, right? So let's just equate their surface areas. So we'll say 4 pi r squared equals 6 a squared. Again, let's write r in terms of a. So we will get r equals the square root of 3 over 2 pi. That's a 3 right there. I know it's pretty terrible. Um, but if I try to fix it, I think I'm just going to make it worse. So uh, let's say this is r equals square root of 3 over 2 pi times a. Let's substitute this in now to our surface area equation, or excuse me, to our volume equation for the sphere. All right? So we'll find that the volume of the sphere okay, over here is going to equal this is 4 thirds pi times this whole thing, r cubed, so this is going to be 3 over 2 pi to the 3 halves times a cubed. So this is actually going to come out to be about 1.38 a cubed. So for the same surface area, same surface area, the sphere has 1.38 a cubed volume, whereas the cube only has a cubed volume. So we can say for the same surface area, volume of the sphere greater than volume of the cube. And so the cube is one extreme, right? 
it has sort of the minimum number of, of sides or the minimum geometry to enclose a volume, right? And the sphere is at the other extreme, right? It has infinite sides to enclose a volume. So we can say that as we go from one extreme to the other, an extreme where we enclose sort of the minimum volume and the maximum surface area, we go to the other extreme where we have maximum volume and minimum surface area. Um, and we can say that basically um, for a given volume, for a given volume, same volume, across all, all of these uh, possible geometric surfaces, for the same volume, the sphere, right, has minimum surface area for any volume. And for a given surface area, out of any shape, the sphere will have maximum volume, right? So you could, you could do this for a shape with 12 faces, 20 faces, whatever, and as the number of faces approaches infinity, right, the, uh, this, the, this other volume here, right here is the volume of the cube, this will get closer and closer to the volume of the sphere, but the volume of the sphere will always be greater, and the surface area of the sphere will always be smaller than the surface area of the other geometric shape as the number of faces approaches infinity. So that's one way to show it, and that's pretty intuitive. Uh, another way you can look at it is, is kind of uh, graphically. So we could say that here, if we had our cube, and this was increasing A, right? And here we had our sphere, and this was increasing R. Uh, we could look at um, how the volume and surface area increase. So here um, we have our volume of the cube is just a cubed, so that's going to do something like this, right? And we have our surface area, which is 6a squared, so you know, maybe that does something like this. And then for the sphere, um, right here, this is volume of cube, surface of cube, and then for the sphere, um, we're going to have 4 thirds pi r cubed. We're just going to do something like this, maybe. It's going to rise a little bit faster than volume of the cubes. So this will be volume of sphere. And then the surface area of the sphere is uh, 4, 4 pi r squared. So that's going to be something like this, right? Okay. So now we can look at basically sort of the area between these two curves. And in fact, we can really look at how quickly the area between these two curves is growing, or how quickly the difference between these two curves, right, is growing. Mm -hmm. Actually, we would look at it for a given, right, look at it for a given r. You say, what, what's the difference here between the two curves for a given r or a given a? And you would see that for any, as we go again from one extreme to the other, um, you'll find that this difference is going to grow faster for the sphere, right? So it's gaining more volume for the surface area that it's gaining, right? Um, and as we go from the sphere, or as we go from the cube to the sphere, one extreme to the other, um, we'll find that each shape along the way, as we add faces, um, has faster growing volume relative to its surface area, and the cube grows volume the slowest for its given uh, surface area, and the sphere grows volume the fastest for its given surface area. And, um, and no shape uh, has faster growing volume with respect to surface area than the sphere. Um, again, because we're adding sides, and this is sort of the extreme case where the number of, number of faces equals uh, infinity. Um, so that's just a couple ways a couple ways that you can show or describe uh, how the sphere is the, uh, the shape that encloses the maximum volume for the minimum surface area. For a given volume, no shape has less surface area. For a given surface area, no shape has more volume. And uh, at a, for a given shape, no other shape has faster growing volume with respect to its surface area.